occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It's Arsenal up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granite Jacker plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Party. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Thomas. Xhaka and moving the ball nicely it could be oh it was a crucial challenge well I think many would agree Hyung Min Son seems to be at the peak of his powers now in what way might he contribute today Stuart well done and the goalkeeper has done himself with that save let's see about the delivery Son targets available, cross comes in and a bit short with the clearance oh he's blocked it well they're going for the short one just Harry Kane but goalkeeper's ball disappointingly for them and they do like to press whenever they can Kieran Tierney and the timing was perfect ball one Bentancur Kulusevski Crossing possibilities. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Martin Odegaard. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Martin Odegaard, shot attempted, body on the line. 
Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And options in the centre. Sessegnon. Now Son. Kane. It's with Bentancourt. Getting the better of his opponent. A fine use of the ball. Well, they're going to forge ahead. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Now a short corner here. He made it look simple, really. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. Delivering it into the box. And dealt with that ball comfortably. And the body in the way. Moving forward effectively. Lacazette prepared to fire. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. It needs an accurate cross. Emerson. Dejan Kulusevski. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, a struggle to get it away properly. Danger averted for now. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Bentancourt. Kulusevski. He's managed to lose his marker. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Moving it forward. Kane. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. An alert intervention. Tottenham couldn't maintain possession. Granit Xhaka. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Dejan Kulusevski. Emerson. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Not a very good challenge and he skips past his man. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Might be able to get in behind the defence. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. And played short. And he cuts inside. Well, tremendous block. 
Really good high press. Oh, could be. And fired against the crossbar. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. 20 minutes to go. Oh, wasteful from Spurs. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Martin Odegaard. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Electing to cross into the centre. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So back on the way. One goal apiece here. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Tomiyasu. Thomas. Gabriel. And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? So a deflection, and they can get ready for their corner kick routine. And they're going for the short one. Partey, tremendous block. Partey. And now Jacka. Jacka's lost the ball. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can Spurs find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. How about the cross? Bentancourt. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Farsi. Saka. Tension building still level. Thomas Partey. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Partey. Granite Jacka. Tierney. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to... Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part in this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Javier. Really a very poor ball. Kieran Tierney. And the forward run by Lacazette with the ball at his feet. He has options around him. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Foiling his opponent completely. Well, nicely cut out. Jacka Martin Odegaard crossing possibilities giving them a different option by moving in field and the electronic board showing one additional minute It's opening up for them. 
Lucas prepared to fire. And a good take under duress there. Half time in extra time. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Martin Odegaard. A super tackle and they've won possession. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Tomiyasu. Thomas. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And they're making a change. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time. If nothing changes, it will be decided by means of a penalty shootout. Granit Xhaka. Tierney. Delivered into the box. Well, no problems defensively. Not high quality defending. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Will he play it in? After 120 minutes, they cannot be separated. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Can he keep us cool? Clinical as always in front of goal. And the penalty converts it here. And confidently converts it. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And he's taken the low road. Beautifully done. And he steps up to take his penalty. Foiled by the post. And he scores! So much pressure. If he fails to score, they lose. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. It comes down to this. A goal, and they win the game. And he's denied them from the spot. He had to score, and he does. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And the keeper denies them from the spot. A goal now, and his team will prevail. A moment he dearly wishes he could have back. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. Well, he squandered the chance and badly.
so lethal in front of goal. Can he convert? And it's gone in. In it goes. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an ending to a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their...